What's up, Outlaws? I'm Gary Janess, also known as Native Outlaws, Most Wanted. But hey, let me put it to you another way. I don't know if you saw the sign, but anyway, today, Live Feed is a one-on-one -on -one with me, Sumite Wokla. So in this corner, standing at 5, 8, 9 inches, 220 pounds, Native Outlaws Most Wanted, Gary Janess. <laughs> All right, so standing in this other corner here, wait till I uh, wait till I get it out, man. Standing at five inches, five feet, eleven inches tall, Damn. weighing two hundred and eighty pounds, the professional heavyweight champion of the world, Sumite Woka. At least our world, at least our world, right, brother? That's right. <laughs> It's a good day to be native. It's a good day to wear a belt. It's a good to wait. Mm -hmm. Good day to wear two belts. Didn't you wear three at one time? I got three. I'm about to get four right now. Oh. Oh, brother, props up to you, man. I lost count where you're at. I mean, you're, you you have them up up on the line all the time. So I don't know if you're winning them, losing them. I don't lose. I don't, I don't lose. Heck I'm yeah! Here to, take, here to take back, not give back. I hear you, man. That's why we're here loud and proud, but uh, that's also why we're here on Twitch, too. We're here to take back, not give back. But uh, basically, man, I'm on Twitch these days, and I look around, it's like, I'm the only native here. So, man, every time I hop on, I get some, uh, I get some uh, feedback. So, it feels good to be able to uh, let loose, and, uh, you know, because on, um, on Facebook, you know, I've I'm, I'm got my hands tied. So, but anyway, I, I'm kind of digging this new platform. I'm trying to bring other natives over with me. And, uh, you know, I talked with uh, Sumite just a little bit ago before we started. And uh, I think this is something right up his alley. Because, uh, you know, as we go on with this uh, interview, hanging out, conversation, whatever you want to call it. I don't like to call them interviews, man. I'm hanging out with Sumite. We're going to talk about some wrestling. We're going to talk about some, um, well, it's almost Halloween. So we want to remind you guys, no headdresses. Mm -mm. Right. So, look, friends don't let friends dress up as natives. No. Stop that shit. Oh, uh, actually, I got a perfect meme for that one, man. You know, because that's that's what I do. I pop up memes every time something like this comes up. A uh, col colonial holiday. This one right here. Friends don't yeah. let friends play Indian. Right. Is that the one yeah. you're referring to, man? That's perfect, right there. It sure is. So that's a horrible headdress, anyways. You should be smacked for that shit, right? Man, Fucking I got all kinds of stuff regarding headdresses, and, and especially that smacking man. I have a video that I wanted to share. It's it's really good, man. It uh puts a smile on my face. So, man, I had so much free time. I've been loading up stuff here, and it's kind of hard to get through it. But uh, anyway, here's that video. <laughs> Larry, what the hell oh, shit. Yeah, I've seen that. You can't just... <laughs> right? Oh, are you all right? You... Shit. Larry. I posted that when the, the Pope wore that headdress. Oh, my God. That was so disrespectful. Very much so. And this is how I felt, man. Shit. Yeah. Get it. <laughs> right, right, what's going on here? Oh, sir, I'm arrested. Oh, oh. Best the law. I like the double the double backhand. <laughs> right on, brother. That's right up your alley too, man. So, uh, heck yeah. I'm a, little, I'm a little bit more physical, but I mean, uh, I'll slap the shit out some of them. Heck yeah, I have a smile when you're doing it too, and uh, yes. and offending the family that are watching in the front row. So. <laughs> I see some of that. I see you um, giving back to some of the fans. You know, that's why I yeah. say what I like about Twitch. Sometimes you want to be the heel, right? You don't always want to be the good guy. Sometimes it feels good to be hated on and, man, work out some of that aggression on somebody, especially a colonizer shit. Well, let's, let's be real. As an indigenous male today, you're going to be a heel no matter what. So have some thick skin and just keep moving forward. Right. Right on, brother. So, hey, I happen to have um, a couple of highlights for you. Yeah. I, I hopped on your Twitch. Now, I think these were on one of your, uh, I think I might have been on 
Native Ways Entertainment. Man, mm -hmm. so uh, Native Ways Entertainment, you can see the graphic behind me. And uh, that is the logo to, uh, to his company, Native Ways Entertainment. So they're a group of natives that uh, come together and uh, travel and beat up colonizers. Right? <laughs> So, hey, we're, we're equal opportunists. We like to think that anybody can get it. Right on. All right, so where was I? Man, I got so much stuff on here. I, I loaded up some stuff last night for you, and I shared a bunch of it. Popped up some new stuff, so I got a bunch of stuff. Plus, I got I got some Halloween stuff I want to put out there, too. Because, uh, like I said, man, don't be wearing them headdresses. Some of us natives uh, find it very offensive. Remember me. When the sun comes up in the morning sky, there I will be, there I will be, soaring with the eagle so high. Hey, I, I will be the indigenous people's champion all day, every day. Let's pop that one back up there. So this here, this is from Twitch. So right now, uh, Facebook's watching live and so is Twitch. So part of what I do is uh, okay. I shout out to the people that are commenting on here. So Geronimo Rising from Twitch, the, indig the indigenous people's champion, Sumate Wokla. What's up, brother? What's up, bro? Dagote. Heck yeah. It's just uh, sharing some native pride and uh, sharing Hello, a baby, yeah. Whooping someone's ass. Heck yeah. We're going to share some of that, too. Hey, bro, that was that was in front of over a thousand people right there. Oh yeah, that looked like uh, a pretty good Utah. event. So hey, let me uh, jump. Let me do some shout outs real quick because I uh, I appreciate all the people that hop on here and do shout outs. You know, because uh, really, you guys are what makes this video worth watching. You know, otherwise, I'm just up here playing some videos and sharing some pics. But uh, man, I love talking with you guys, sharing native pride. And, uh, you know, like I pointed out before, I'm having, a, I'm having a hard time over on Twitch. So it's pretty much, uh, I walked into a bar full of white bikers and uh, I said, who's the biggest, baddest little bitch in here? Because uh, I'm going to kick his ass. It's kind of how I feel, man, going on Twitch. But anyway, today I invited Sumite Wokla to watch my back and uh, all you guys on Facebook. So anyway, I'll be um, sharing some of these comments so everybody can see what's up. So, Joe Russell, aho, Joe Russell, how, 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 all right. Uh, Radagash Val says, lovely. Joe Russell, aho, young warrior, hashtag reservation dogs, all right. Joe Russell, hashtag native outlaws, right on, I, I appreciate the support. Jamie Cole, join my group for IWEP. I'll have to get back to you later and check that out. And that stands for Indigenous Worldwide Environmental Protection. Man, that was a mouthful. Uh, Joseph Peters Jr., do you ever want to get to perform on higher circuits or are you comfortable where you're at? Let me pop that up there. Um, I get the opportunity to go from higher to lower and I I enjoy the luxury of being able to choose. The higher up you go, higher circuits, the less you get to choose. You get tied down by contracts and negotiations and you don't you don't get to run your own shit. Right on. Good to know. Man, man, back in the day I used to want to be a wrestler. You know, kind of back in the day when I was like 35 is probably when I was my biggest. People always ask me if I was a wrestler. You know, not always, but a couple times. I used to go to the gym all the time. Used to be pretty big, but man, I'm 55 now. Still holding up pretty good. So, right on. 
All right. So uh, Tammy Wilson, good evening, guys. Well, good evening, Tammy. Thank you for tuning in and sharing your support. I know Tammy's a fan of Sumite. Um, mm-hmm. Tammy's on Tammy's on all my videos or on all my live feeds. She's been my friend for about 10 years. And uh, Tammy Wilson also has a pink Native Outlaws Most Wanted hoodie. That's right. Heck yeah. So, uh, yeah, you have merchandise as well. I do believe I have a picture. Yes, I do. Let me see. Man, I got so much stuff scattered out. I might not have it on here. But uh, yeah, anyway, he, I will check out your page. work like so. Yeah, man, I showed your beadwork last night. You know, here, here you are, a big badass mofo that does beadwork, man. So, so a little bit of this fine stuff, and then a little bit of this head bashing, and they they go together, right? Well, you gotta stay grounded. <laughs> I gotta stay grounded, right? Right on. Joe Russell says, "Shout out to you guys!" Woo! All right. Everybody knows that one. All right. So, hey, let's go ahead and um, pop up some of that beadwork you, uh, you've you done. Man, these are, these are you know, not just a bracelet. That's big time. Yeah, that's a beautiful choker. Yeah, that was pretty detailed. So, a lot of beautiful work from Sumate Wokla. It's home, red dress. I did a couple of those earrings, and they always go quickly. Of the red dress? Yeah. Yeah, you know, it has a lot of meaning. I got one like this, but it's just the black with the red hand, and everyone tries to buy that off me. Yeah, right on. Mass produce. Uh, Linder... Learn, Lynn Germanowski says, where can we see you, Russell? Uh, depends on where you're at. Um, November, I'll be off through Texas, Utah, California, Phoenix. Uh, where else? Kansas. We'll hit up your page and find your schedule. So I've, I've got like a handful of promos there. Yeah. Mike LaBelle says that beast beadwork. Right. Cool. So Tammy Wilson, beautiful. Thank you. Joel Russell, bling bling. Don't even know. <laughs> right on, brother. So hey, um, I'm going to go ahead and pop up uh, one of your wrestling videos before we go ahead and start stumping, jumping on your pages. I do have one here ready to go. It's pretty cool. Turned out really good. So, you know, this is kind of what I was talking to Sumite about. Maybe starting to do some of this of what I got going on right here to uh, showcase his, um, his events. So I'm going to press play so we can enjoy one. This right here is in Texas.
<laughs> uh, that's an Apache Storm. <laughs> the decolonizer. Right on, brother. That was a badass video, man. Yeah, I did. I did want uh, that finisher in um, what's that? Anaheim is uh, kid Eddie Atlas. His tag partner didn't want to tag in, um, so I, I gave him that Apache stomp, right? Yeah. And he started to move again, so I gave it to him again. And then bros started calling me from the res and shit. And it was like, hey, uh, so are you in jail? I was like, for what? <laughs> but you killed that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. And you know, his ancestors. Yeah. So that was from uh, Merciless Indian Savage from Twitch. So thanks for the comment. Made him laugh and smile. You'd rarely see that. Yeah. And, uh, Mike LaBelle, yes, how have I never heard of him? Thank you, Gary. Well, heard of him now. Oh. Sumate Woke Love, Native Waste Entertainment. All right. Tammy Wilson, awesome fight, my friend. Go. Right on. Going back to Texas really soon. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, we'll stay posted. I'll be sharing it. Merciless Indian Savage. Love it. Seems good, right? So um, I have a on my page you see that more. Yeah, we'll get there. Why why were you just watched that? Let's do some some highlights. So uh I love that pick. Hey. That one was right that, there. Was that before or after? Uh that was in the middle of the match. <laughs> <clears throat> I was supposed to do like a, a dive out over the top rope. Yeah. I could see that he was waiting for it, right? So, yeah, yeah he, he got it when he got back in the ring. Heck, yeah. I got a couple more of these. Yeah, these are some good picks, man. I like that background. Yeah. It, see, look at the dude in the corner. Like, you can see his face. <laughs> Cover it up. Yeah. Don't want none of that blood and spit on there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, yeah, fucking midair. That's pretty badass. Yeah, those are nice. Uh, and here is the Apache Stomp. We didn't over there with a the camera. They all got their phones out. Yeah, man. It looked like a battle royal or lumberjack match. Yeah, that's where everybody's uh, gathered. <clears throat> there were just thousands of people around the the ring. And one of the fans slid the, ring, uh, the chair in the ring, and they're like, uh, finish him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you got to give your fans what they want. They wanted it. They called it. They got it. Finish him. Mortal Kombat. Yep. Right on. So while we're here, hop on Facebook. Let me see what I got. I got to change my screen here. So this is one of the benefits of having this uh, OBS thing. Okay. Boom. So here's my Book. Of course, there's me doing my live feed. Well, anyway, yeah, I shared this. So this is from an artist. Her name's Jerica. So, you know, I share memes all the time. I brought this up yesterday. I had a, a meme that I shared. It didn't have the artist's name on it. They were upset about it, spoke up about it. So I cleared all that up. But anyway, you know, this is how you should do your stuff is you should have your signature on here so uh, people can know who did it. All right, so... You want Sumite or Native Ways Entertainment? Sumite. Sumite Wokla. This here is his page. So when the video's over, I will post a link to his page. And I will also post one to uh, Native Ways Entertainment. So, uh, yeah, you got these TikTok videos. So you are on TikTok. I know you're on Twitter, too. All those new videos are for uh, that show right there, and that one's in Kansas. Totally justified, what it says. Friday, November 11th. That has Tommy Dreamer. Great Bend, Kansas. Is that where that's at? 
Leonard, Leonard, Kansas. So I can zoom in on that. Woo. All right, so that is Friday, November 11th. What else we got? Same thing. Uh, I got I got a triple threat in Texas for a over the top, and <clears throat> this one right here is going to be uh, another death match uh, scenario. <laughs> I'd love to see you beat his ass. Especially that that's one. A, Damn. Yeah, that's that's one of the, the beasts that's been running through the deathmatch scene right now, Terry. Um, Chewy Martinez is the one that I, I fought last time. And we tore each other up. So I figured you'd do it again. November 13th is where we're doing the Lucha Libre show. I'll be putting my belt up for the Philippines tag titles against Ron Von Hess and his tag team partner. I'm not even concerned who it is. <laughs> All right. Well, it's going to be hard getting a hold of them Lucha Libres pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you grab a hold of one, it's all good. Hey, it's hard to run when your your face is underneath my boot. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that Apache stomp. Right on. So November twenty seventh, internet. Yeah, I'm in. I'm involved in a three way and a over the top battle royal for a heavyweight title. So. I don't I don't see me having much problem winning that. <laughs> I mean I'm I'm obviously just boasting, but um yeah. Uh on Drew has their day. Martinez right there is the one that cut the highlights for that and did yeah. that video for me. She's a really good person and sponsor. You can find her at uh Drea Times YouTube. So is she the one who put that video together that we just watched? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I see this. Says, she's uh, done. She's done two videos for me. Yeah. So that was a good video. That it says it's for YouTube Sumite Wokla highlights. Yeah. So we just watched that. So here's a recent schedule you have: uh, November eleventh, thirteenth, nineteenth, and twenty seventh. Yeah, the twenty seventh got changed, or not the. Yeah, the twenty seventh. No. Uh, is it 19th or 27th? Oh, One of those days got changed. Well, hey, let's click it on and, and see what the update says. Nope, just says yes. Yeah, that's uh, Mini, Mini Hulkon. Uh He's a really awesome Lucha Libre yeah. wrestler. He's a good luchador. Right on. Getting that workout in. Doing a little live feed over there at um, MVMT Fitness here in Scottsdale. Yeah. So how, trying to trying to stay big. How often do you uh, work out? Do you skip days, or do you train every day, or? I'll, I'll skip days, but I should be going twice a day. Twice a day. Damn, you don't give those muscles time to build back up and rest and. I don't know. <laughs> I take breaks, ma'am. Forget all that. Yeah, no pain, no gain. Uh, right on, brother. Well, and all gain. Uh, you're 280, and I'm only 220. So, right on. So, what else we got? Some uh, getting ready for Halloween highlights, TikToks. Yeah, just TikToks. I like this little filter thing. That yeah. way I could do my promos. Because people are always asking uh, about putting on my face paint for the promos. So, yeah. um, no. I don't I don't put on my face paint for promos. That's, that's not what it's for. War paint. Yeah. Put it on, you got to go to war. So I saw this video here. Was it a call out? For like you or for anybody? 
That's that's what um, he was talking about. That over the top battle royal. Yeah, it's for that. It's his his company. Yeah. International Fight Fest. A lot of you have made claims that you wanted to be the first ever Alliance Championship Wrestling United States Champion. A lot of you have made claims that you're going to go through everybody. I said Alliance Championship Wrestling was the land of opportunity. And that is just that. I'm going to give you the opportunity. If you all are as bad as you say you are, y'all should have no problems. I've set the platform. I've opened the doors. All you have to do is walk through them. Because one of you is going to kick off the show and start the night out as champion. I said this was a land of opportunity. Here's the opportunity. The United States. That's a pretty bad. Anybody that wants in can come in. Anybody who thinks that they have a shot can come take their shot. This is unfettered competition. Let's just see who wants it the most. Ha <laughs> ha Bring it. Yeah. I don't know if people like that know. Um, the last time I was in Texas, I pulled a knife out on somebody. Yeah? Wow. <laughs> I know when yeah. you're in Texas, you wrecked your car. Yeah. That wasn't a good thing. It's just a premier wrestler. The person who tagged me in that is one of my sponsors and is soon to be one of the uh, partners in Native Voice. Oh, yeah? Right on. Might as well turn it on here, see what we got. <laughs> Working out some aggression. Gotta feel good, ma'am. All right, so uh, let's jump on over to uh, Native Ways Entertainment. Check out a match or two. So Native Ways Entertainment. This is his other page. Wrestling organization. I honestly haven't been on that in a while. So, oh, yeah. Yes. The full screen. Talking about that stomp, right? That Apache stomp? Yeah. Watch, start start this from the beginning, bro. Okie dokie. Quick drop. Mm -hmm. They never do. It's Turtle Island. That's where you're at. Oh, wait. He, he's about to get excommunicated from that right now. Head from body. Whoa. Clothesline from hell. Oh, taking off the gloves. Now, bro, right there, my, my tag partner is Mescalero. Yeah. Mescalero Apache. Sorry about his luck. <laughs> Whoa. And the wind up. Oh, damn. Oh, it gets worse. <laughs> That was the Apache Stomp. Two in a row. Man. Yeah. Put a fork in him. He's done. And you can hear in the crowd, they're like, you should have done that. He's just a kid. <laughs> well, he shouldn't have hopped in the ring. And then, of course, they cheer for me to do it one more time. Yeah. And them heathens. I just wiped his blood off him. Yeah. 
Probably hear that a lot. Mm -hmm. Right on, brother. So uh, that was a good match. I think you got a couple more right after that. I think you just put it on TikTok. Whoa, that was a nice slam. Yeah. All right, so we get the beat all the way around the ring. It's just pretty good. Yeah. Looks like a packed house. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. Pretty good house. It's a small smaller venue, but I like him like that. Woo! <laughs> The big paw. Yeah. One more time. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Woo! The switch. We'll switch. <laughs> huh. You guys are swinging. It's trade partners. Yeah. Woo! Right on, brother. Surprised you don't step over the top rope. Oh, yeah. All right. Anything else you got coming up want to talk about? I've got so many matches. It's just every everything's a blur. But <laughs> uh, poor bastard. Yeah. Well, um, hey, let's pop, out, um, let's pop out a meme or two. You know, I got to remind everybody about, you know, the holiday coming up. It's not really cool. You know, native culture is not a costume. So don't be an Indian. Don't be a native princess. And definitely don't wear a headdress. You know? Um, and I'm, I'm going to just say this. this. This goes for brothers and sisters, too. Like, just because you're, you're indigenous doesn't mean that you're entitled to wear that shit. Just yeah. know that. And uh, I should refrain from saying wear that shit, but... That, I mean that it irritates me. Yeah, like I get yeah. I get asked all the time, "Hey, Bo, why don't you wear a headdress to the ring?" Because no. Yeah, I mean because you're aware it's disrespectful. You know, you got to earn it. Well, my people never wore headdresses. Yeah, we didn't do that. And, uh, and it only takes a moment to crush a Halloween headdress in your fist. Especially if you're Sumite Wokla. I was, I was, I haven't seen one of those sold around here in a while. Yeah. So, you know, these are just memes, but I like memes. They put out a message in a pretty uh, positive way. You know, here's a stupid ass costume you can go ahead and wear. If you want to dress yeah. up for Columbus. Yeah, I see a lot of these popping up, man. Kind of cool. Kind of funny. And hey, it's okay if you wear one of these. Calm down. Yeah. An indigenous man proud of his local sports team. The Caucasians. So, man, this guy right here, you know, this guy was okay. pretty popular. But everyone needs to know that we do not claim him as being indigenous. So, uh, I got that, that whole January 6th thing was just a total joke. You know, if natives were trying to march, none of them would get in there. Oh, well, let's be real. We wouldn't even make it down the motherfucking street. Yeah, because we've tried before. You know, we've marched before. It wasn't that successful. And then all these clowns just fucking walk right in, doing their live videos and TikToks and 
Man, times have uh, times have sure changed. So, and we just pray, we sing. We don't break shit. Yeah, we don't do none of that. It's where people who use violence and who are disrespectful get more respect. Yeah, and that's that's the truth. So you know, it's up to uh, it's up to you and me to man make a stand and shout out loud, share our voice, share the truth, and uh, even make videos about it. I try, I, I, try the ring. I try to do the best that I can, but um, but violence is my forte. Violence yeah. is definitely my forte, and uh, well, we need warriors that have violence in them because man, you just can't be totally passive. So you know. I, I don't, I'm not a Christian or anything, but there's this one saying that I do kind of agree with, you know, because uh, like God puts evil in good men to fight evil. Mm. I don't know if those weren't the exact words, but basically, you know, God puts some evil into us so we can grab onto it and use it to fight evil. Well, you're allowed to feed both wolves, light and dark, and you have to keep a balance. If you don't keep a balance, then you tip the scale. So that's why, you know, that's why I don't claim to be an elder. You know, I don't want nobody to look at me as an elder. I'm more of an uncle, you know, the warrior. You know, I don't mind throwing that ball. Uh, cross uncle right here. Yeah, uncle, man. Uncle Gary. It's kind of what I grew up as, so. It still fits. I'm still holding on to it. So I don't want nobody to look at me as an elder. Because, man, my page, my page is for all natives, from it's from the hardcore city native to, like, my mom and, de you know, my mom, my parents, my elders, traditional. I'm in that whole scale. So trying to be in there, I'm offending somebody. Somebody doesn't like the stuff that I'm doing for the hardcore guys, you know, the memes. Other people don't, you know. Older people call themselves Indians. You know, our, our parents, because that's what they grew up as, that's what they knew. So now... You have the younger generation trying to change it because they want to be politically correct when there's still people out there who call themselves Indian. So, you know, it just makes them be shameful because the younger generation doesn't like the word Indian. Don't don't hate who and what you are, how you were raised. Yeah. And if you don't identify with that, then don't identify with that. But yeah. don't shame someone because they do. And, of course, there's that political, you know, trying to be politically correct. What's up with that? You know, if you feel um, strongly about your opinion, then just go ahead and say it. Yeah. Even if you got to dress it up with some flavor, with some cuss words or whatever, man. I'm all about that life. Keeping it real, keeping it true. Oh, yeah, I popped up some of these. Uh -huh. Sumite Wokla, pro wrestler of the war party. All right, so showing you some ideas, man. You should do something like this. Native Waste Entertainment. Got some of them ready for you. So yeah. I'm still um I'm still learning how to operate this thing. Man, I got excited. I as soon as I figured it out, I started using it. And uh, same thing I did with Twitch. I just jumped on and started doing it before I really knew how to use it. So okay, I'm trying to take the time to learn my way around these things so I can do some good videos, put them out there. So yeah, we should we should figure out a time or something like that to where we can get together and do these little Twitch videos. Yeah, you know we can go on there and um, take on the colonizers. So right now, pretty peaceful. You know, I, I put it out there that it's going to be Twitch and Facebook. Man, I put a... Fuck, I forgot what I called this feed. I called it a... Um, yesterday, I called it a death match because I was uh, going to talk with you last night. And I did do Facebook and Twitch at the same time. So basically, I did face, Facebook Live versus Twitch uh, Battle Royal. So this one was uh, um, no holds barred. So... Had the wrestling things. Right on. Uh, next, so, yeah. year, next, next year, I'll probably be involving myself in the first cage match I've ever done. 
Yeah. Yeah, wow. they're trying to book me for that in Texas. Wow. Big time. Uh, Right I've on. never I've never done a cage match, so that's that's one of those bucket list things. Yeah. Yeah. Right once, I guess. All right. Huh. Well, stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, you know, um, I will probably post a link to the Twitch on here. You can click it on, just check out my videos on Twitch, and then you can see what it takes to uh, start up your own Twitch. It doesn't take much. You just need an email address because they want to send you link to verify. But you don't need your driver's license. You don't need to, any bank information or nothing like that. So you just need a, a good email so they can contact you. And then and set up your own account. And then, you know, we'll put the word out. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get people from Facebook to follow me over there. And uh, because I'm over there, I'm not going to pull any followers, not really. Uh, you know, like I said, there's not really any natives over there. It's mostly just uh, gamers, and uh, you know, they're oh, not well. not native. So anyway, you know, I everyone that I know, I follow them back because somebody else might want to start streaming too, and uh, it helps them out. So this would be really up your alley doing this little OBS that I have, being able to split screen, show videos, pictures, uh, play music. There's a lot of stuff that this thing does, and also it does the. Uh, Multi-streaming. I'm streaming on Facebook and Twitch right now. So sure. you have a lot of um, a lot of uh, man, content. That's what uh, that's what I call what I do is content. Because when I go to Twitch, when I go to all these other stuff, it's mostly just hot chicks with their tits hanging out. They get all these oh. views. Here I am talking about stuff that's important to the native community, trying to help people out. Man, but it's a struggle for me. So we need to help each other. So hopefully you'll start a Twitch account. Follow me. I'll follow you, and uh, man, I'll I'll get you started on doing this too. Well, I mean, you got you got to combat that. You got to figure out a way to draw other people's attention from. Oh, I do, man. I do. I, I'm the native they want to hate. I say, you know, love me or love to hate me. Either way, you just show up on my page, and um, you know, yeah. if you want to show up on my page just to disrespect me. I'm cool with that because uh, I don't mind sparring with people. Yeah. It's my page. I control it, you know, however I want. So, but you know, you can always kick people out and you can, you can um, set it up to where it's not too bad. I have a bot that helps me out. And then you have people that help you out too. You have like, if I knew you were going to go live, I'd hop on your stream and I'd moderate it for you. I'd kick people out and uh, okay. bad mouth them too. So, but anyway, like I said, you know, I'm, uh, I'm planning on the adversary, adversary. I kind of thrive on it. You know, anytime I had, have adversary, I just use it for fuel. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's really how you combat, uh, adversity. It's how you stand up to it. Yeah. And, and I just want other natives to see me doing it. And, you know, there might be some natives that are on Twitch and hopefully they'll find me and maybe be interested in what I have to offer. So I'm not just somebody out here playing a video game and talking about it. Yeah, I, I know a, a couple of bros from Tucson and Phoenix that are doing their music and everything through Twitch. Yeah. So, so yeah, look into it. I think it would be uh, really good for you. I'd love to see. I'd love to watch your wrestling matches on uh, on Twitch. You pretty much yeah. put them there for free. Everything you do on Facebook is for free. I've been doing Facebook for 10 years. I have hundreds of videos yeah. there, you know, hasn't really done anything for I've got, a, I've got a lot of content that's on Fight TV that's supposed to be edited and um, prepped for that, but I'm still waiting on them. Yeah, well, these are things you can do on your own. This is what I got going on. I have my full-time job, plus I still make time to do all this stuff that I'm doing. Because, uh, man, I'm on, I'm on everywhere, Instagram, Facebook. YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, Twitter. I do podcasts. I took a break from podcasts so I can get all this stuff set up. Mm -hmm. So I'm about ready to start podcasting again. So, okay. Um, pretty soon I should be out in Oregon. Right on. So, uh, try to see, make sure I can come out and see you.
brother. Well, I guess we can go ahead and um, call it a day, call it a night. All right, bro. Get ready for the trick or treaters tomorrow. I'll be working, so I'll be messing yep. up. Just another day for me. Something like that. Yeah. All right, brother. So, man, it's good that uh, we got this worked out because uh, we were having some issues at the beginning, and uh, I was afraid that he wasn't going to be able to uh, join the stream. But, uh, man, glad you're here. Turned out really yeah. good. Hopefully, gave you some ideas because uh, I think they, I think this would be right up your alley. It's definitely. It's definitely. Thank you. Yeah. So everyone who tuned in and. Uh, sent messages and responded that's cool thank you i appreciate you guys heck yeah and when the video's over i'll put your links to uh your personal page and native ways entertainment sounds good buy my merch heck yeah it's all about native supporting natives even if right. you can't buy his merchandise check out his pages and uh like comment and share his stuff that's an easy yeah. way to support us you know put uh put the spotlight on them what he does jewelry t-shirts stuffed animals best of that Thank jewelry man you got some good stuff i try i try yeah well you do a good job at it well i'm gonna let you get off and uh thank you again for having me on i appreciate it as always all right. Well, hey, you got any last minute catchphrases? I'm going to throw mine up there. I might as well just head out with you here, too. Don't have no music or anything to play. I'm going to go ahead and end my day. So, man, I like these little catchphrases. You know, it helps you out when you do your live feeds because uh, sometimes uh, it's not easy going up here in front of the camera on live. So, my catchphrase is all right, natives, feathers up. And I'll see you out on the red road. Uh, feathers up, Sumite. Right on, brother. I'll see you out in the ring. Native pride. <laughs>